Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that Sam made an investment of $10,000 in his business. In the first year, he incurred a loss of 5%. However, during the second year, he earned a profit of 6% which in the third year rose to 10%. Calculate the net profit for the entire period. The compound interest formula is A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power N. We know that value of yearly growth factor is one plus R upon 100 and value of yearly decay factor is one minus R upon 100 with this key idea let us proceed with the solution according to the question Sam made an investment of $10,000 in his business. He had a loss of 5% in the first year. However, during the second year, he earned a profit of 6% which in the third year rose to 10%. We need to calculate the net profit for the entire period. Let the investment made by Sam BP which is equal to $10,000 let R1 be the yearly loss which is equal to 5% let R2 be the yearly profit that is profit in the second year which is equal to 6% and R3 be the yearly profit that is profit in the third year which is equal to 10%. As Sam incurred a loss of 5% in the first year, so we shall use the yearly decay factor in the compound interest formula for the first year. As he had a profit of 6% in the second year and 10% in the third year, so we shall use the yearly growth factor for the second and third year in the compound interest formula so amount after three years will be A is equal to P into 1 minus R1 upon 100 into 1 plus R2 upon 100 into 1 plus R3 upon 100. So amount is equal to 10,000 into 1 minus 5 upon 100 into 1 plus 6 upon 100 into 1 plus 10 upon 100 dollars. Taking the LCM within the brackets, this is equal to 10,000 into 100 minus 5 upon 100 into 100 plus 6 upon 100 into 100 plus 10 upon 100 dollars, which is equal to 
ten thousand into ninety five upon hundred into hundred and six upon hundred into hundred and ten upon hundred. Now here first we cancel out all the zeros. Now five into two is equal to ten. And five into nineteen is equal to ninety-five. Then two into fifty-three is hundred and six. So this is equal to nineteen into fifty-three into eleven dollars, which is equal to eleven thousand and seventy-seven dollars. So. The net profit will be eleven thousand seventy-seven minus ten thousand dollars, which is equal to one thousand seventy-seven dollars. Hence, the net profit is equal to. One thousand seventy-seven dollars, which is our final answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.